Welcome back guys, JDog here at Seekerhost and today we are going to be going over how you can create a custom domain to connect to your server so you can create your own individual one rather than having to share your IP and your port. So a quick disclaimer before we go into the video, um, the way that I'm going to be showing will have a very small cost, I mean we're talking about $4 per year. Um, there are other ways of doing it for free, I'm not going to show them because um, in practicing they're actually really not that great, um, also you're very likely to lose your domain if it even works in the first place. So for this we're going to be suggesting a much better service like I said it's got very small cost that's only going to be once per year that you have to pay that however you're going to get your perfect domain so it's going to be one that you choose rather than one with a funny ending or a funny starting to the name So what we want to do is we want to connect this server right here and we want to make a custom domain for it. This is one of my servers and I haven't actually set one up for it yet. And before we get into that, I just wanted to let you know we have currently got a 25% off discount on your first server. So if you haven't come over to Zikahost yet, come out, check it out, use the discount code 25 off and you're going to get 25% off your server as well. That's on Seekerhost.co. Take a look around. We support Bedrock, Java, modded servers and we also have one click mod pack installation with certain mod packs also. So you're going to find what you need on here. Either way, once you've got your server, you want to connect up with your custom IP, we're going to be searching for seekerhost.app. So from here what we can do is we can actually see the prices right here. For a .com domain we've got $5.99, uh, .co.uk $4.99, .net $15 etc. All that you're going to have to do here is search with the domain bar over here to try and search for a domain that you like. So I want to go with Havocraft MC because the server's called Havocraft and it's Minecraft MC. So that's the exact word that I want to look for or the exact address. So I'm going to search that up and just see if it's actually available first. Perfect. As you can see it's available. For me it's £4.49 per year. That's actually quite quite a big saving um, for the recurring years, it's going to be £9, um, domains usually are about £10, £15, sometimes £20 depending on the host, so for £4.49 that's a great price. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding it to cart and we're going to go ahead and check out the domain. For this part, if you haven't made an account, it will prompt you to make an account, it is absolutely free to make the account, it's only when you actually choose the domain or any sort of hosting on here that you have to pay. Um, so create your free account, you'll then get it taken to the payment part right here. You can choose it for more years if you want to and that will actually continue the saving on for many years if you pay up front now and you can also choose auto renew if you're doing it by year by year basis this means that you're not going to lose your address so now with our domain there with the year this, that we want it um, I'm also going to click auto renew on here so it does actually auto renew we're going to go to next obviously this is going to be where you put your information I will have this bit blurred but type in your information make sure that it does also match um, the details that you created your account with next up choose your payment and that's it you're good to go we can go ahead and order our domain and that's all it's taken to actually get the domain now it's just going to be a case of connecting up the domain um, we use another service here as well called Cloudflare this is a completely free service and you can add this for free either way if this is your first time go and check your emails you might just have to activate or accept um, an email about the registrar information just make sure to do that to activate uh, your domain it will be active already but you do need to uh, make sure that you've accepted your registered information and with that we can click done now for your main dashboard on here you can come over and find your domain simply by clicking on domains and it's going to show up right here. Now one of the first things that we want to do is come over to action button because we want to change what is called the DNS um, and we want to change it to point to the IP that is on our server hosting. Before you do this come down to registrar lock. Domains are always locked when you want to make any changes you unlock it, you make the change, once you've made the changes you lock it back up. That's for safety and security reasons. Once you've done that head on down to DNS management, enable DNS management and we're going to be adding in a new record. So we don't need to put anything for the subdomain record type is going to be the a address and then for the address to host name we're going to be copying over the ip um, from our server over here on seeker host and we're going to type in it or pasting it into there once you've done that go ahead and save changes so next up we're going to be looking for cloudflare once you're logged into cloudflare sign up or sign in if you already have an account it is absolutely free to make an account and then once you are signed in either come to the top right to add site or use the button here to add your site so now what we want to do is we want to take our domain name so we're going to grab the name that we've just got the hosting for we're going to add it into here and we're going to click add site when it brings you up here you are going to get the choice of of course paid and you can see um, what extra things that you're going to get from that like ddos protection and stuff like that however you can also start the free plan which is what we're going to be using right here so i'm going to select the free plan and we're going to click continue as you can see here we have havocraft.com we have the ip address we want to change this from proxy to dns only and then we're going to go ahead and click continue it's going to bring us to this page here of which 
we need to take a copy of the Cloudflare name servers. Now to do that, we're going to head back over to Seeker Host where we have our domain and we're going to come to name servers. Now, of course, I've still left mine unlocked because I haven't finished it. If you did lock it in the meantime, just unlock it again to change this. So let's just click name servers. We're going to select here, use custom name servers. And this is where we're going to paste the name server one and two. So I'm going to click the first one right here. We're going to come back over and we're going to paste it in the number one. We're going to do the same with number two. So just come over and click it. Come over to your second name server and paste it in that section there. Now click change name servers. So now I'm going to go to register our lock and just make sure to lock it for now. If we need to make any changes again, we're just going to unlock it and so on. Once you've done that, click done check name servers on Cloudflare. Here you can check some of the additional things that they do offer you with your free plan and you can also choose it. I'm just going to leave this just as it is right now and we're going to go to finish. Now it's going to bring you back to this page again. With your information um, and you're gonna have to wait a little bit if we scroll down you're gonna see here that you can also check your name servers this way or you can also refresh the page if I click this it will say that we're checking um, it will be back in a few hours to update normally or from what I have experienced actually it doesn't take too long sometimes it might take an hour um, usually it only takes about five minutes what I'm just gonna go ahead and do is just try refresh you don't want to do this too many times but it's good to check oh there we go so that's done pretty much instantly that's connected it's got the name servers in there and that is working nicely Next up, what we want to do is come to the DNS settings on the top. From your DNS page right here, we're going to come over to add record. We're going to change the type to SRV. Here you can choose whether you want something in the start of your domain. So let's say, for instance, I can change this to play. Then it's going to be play.minecraftmc.com. Service name is going to be underscore and then Minecraft. Keep this as TCP. Keep this as auto. Priority is going to be set to zero. Weight's going to be set to zero. And the port is going to be your port from your Minecraft server. So let's just double click that. Copy that over. Paste it over here and then for your target type in your url so haveacraftmc.com make sure there's no spaces before or after and then we're going to go ahead and hit save what you can also do now if you don't actually want the play anymore is you can do the add record srv again we're just going to use this as an at instead service names again going to be minecraft all the rest is going to be the same so set to zero set to zero um, same port again, so I believe it was 25573. And the target again is going to be your URL address or the domain that you chose. And then we're going to hit save. As you can see there, it's now changed it from play Minecraft to haveocraftmc.com again. And we're going to go ahead and save. Now that Minecraft loaded up, let's go ahead to add server, um, create your server name, whatever it might be called. So I'm just going to add Havocraft there. Now we're simply going to type our new um, custom address. For me, it's Havocraftmc.com. Of course, uh, type in whichever one that you've done so far and click done. As you can see, we've now got a connection straight to the server. Let's click that, hit join. And now you've got yourself an awesome custom domain for as little as $5 per year. And everybody can now connect to your server. And if you ever want to go one step further, you can always create yourself a website using WordPress and the Seeker Host hosting too for as little as £1 per month. However, that's for another time. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you again next time on the next tutorial. Bye bye.